Yes, it's true. AI is coming to Design Space Beta. This is a slow rollout, so you might not all have it right away. Access subscribers will have a new AI feature in Beta. Let's take a look at it. I'm so excited to show you this new feature. Here I am in Design Space Beta. As mentioned, this is a super slow rollout in Beta only. If you're in Live and you're not sure how to get to Beta, just click on your name at the top right, go to Settings, and you can switch between Beta and Live. And as mentioned, you want to be in Beta. Then click Done. So as you can see, at the bottom of my side panel, I have Create AI. This is such a fun feature, and I've had it for about a month now. I've been playing with it and absolutely love it. So let's click on Create AI. You'll see that you have a Generate and a Save tab. So anytime you create an image and add it to your canvas, it will save a copy. If you don't add it to your canvas, it will not save. So if you want to try different versions of the same image, you always want to add one of the results to your canvas. For this one, let's say, I asked AI to create an image of a monkey swinging in a tree with a pile of bananas at the bottom of the tree and two monkeys eating bananas. And this is what I got. Of course, there were two versions. This is the one I chose to save. By the way, some of the images may come into your design space very large. You just need to drag them down or resize them how you want them. I asked for a girl's profile with the words, reading is my superpower, and books. The first version that I created had only three books on it. And I wanted more than that. So I typed again, create an image. And instead of books, I said, put a library where the brains would be and add a ladder. And this is what I got as my second result. So the more detail you give it, the more information you enter, the better your results might be. I saved both of these but I could have just saved just one. Here's another example. Let's take that one away. Let's try this one. I asked AI to create an image with the Great Pyramid, a sailboat on the river, and add some camels and palm trees. And this is what it created. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's click on that. We can see on my layers panel, I have group. I can drop down and I see group a second time. I will drop down. And if I want to change anything on this image, I can click on that second group and detach. They become separate images and I can change whatever I want to change. If I want to change the color, I can change the color. If I want to delete that part of the image, I can delete that part of the image. So you can break down the image if you want to change colors or remove parts of it. So let's go to Generate and let's create a few examples. If I say, create an image with a little boy as a superhero wearing a cape and holding a puppy on a leash wearing a cape also and click Generate. It does take a little time to create the images. It is creating two choices for you. So you need to be patient and watch for it. In the meantime, I'm going to delete this one. And I'm excited to see what does come up, but be patient while it works. And here are the two choices. I'm going to put both on my canvas so you can see the difference. There we go. And there we go. So we have two different images. 
now that I've put both on my canvas, they both will be available in Saved. You can see them both at the top. If I didn't put any on my canvas, they wouldn't save. Let's try something else. Create an image of a monkey swinging in a tree. Put a pile of bananas at the bottom of the tree and more monkeys eating the bananas. And click Generate. Once again, it's going to take a little time to create the image. Let's remove these. And there we go. We have two choices. We'll add that one to my canvas and that one to my canvas. There we go. Aren't they terrific? So fun, so fun. Let's remove these. You can also populate as separate images. So create an image of a monkey swinging in a tree. Pile of bananas and monkeys eating bananas. And let's say as separate images. Generate. Let's see what we get now. There we go. I'll put both on, see how they differ. So in this one we have two monkeys and one pile of bananas. And in this one we have one monkey, two piles of bananas. But you do have the monkey swinging on the tree branch. So that's pretty terrific. In this case, I can go to group, second group, and detach. Once I've detached, I can select different parts of this image and delete or change colors of whatever I want. There we go. We can make him brown. Isn't that fun? Let's try one more. Create an image with a birthday celebration. Add the words Happy Sweet 16th and generate. Let's remove these. We don't need them. I should mention to you that this AI feature will not work with licensed images, anything like, say, Disney images. If you try to add um, a Disney princess or Mickey Mouse, it won't work. You can't use licensed or copyright images with this AI feature. Also, if you create an image and try to share it, the person you share it to will not be able to cut it because the images you are creating are exclusively in your design space. This one is taking a while. I'm excited to see what we get. Ooh, fun. <gasps> These are really cute. And this one. There we go. Aren't these terrific? So as I mentioned, you can break them down in the layers panel and change any colors that you want to change or remove images from them. Or you can go back and add more information to the description. Isn't this great? I should mention also that you can create up to 20 AI images each month. Super terrific. I'm really excited about this new AI feature, AI Create. I hope you're going to enjoy it. If you do make some images, please post pictures in my Facebook group. Show us what you've created. If you add a note about how you described it to create that image, you'll be helping others to learn how to use it. I hope you're going to enjoy this terrific new access feature. I know I love it. If you have any questions, if I missed anything you'd like to know, please put a comment below this video and I'll be sure to check back and see if there's anything I can help with. You can also feel free to ask in my Facebook group and I'll be happy to help. Check the description right under this video for links to purchase access if you're not already a subscriber. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.